so here we are at the Elliard Residence. Uh, this is our design development model. Um, so we're going to do a walkthrough of the things we just covered um, in our meeting. So let's start over at the kitchen. Let's take a look at our um, our square um, banquette seating here in the um, in the middle of the kitchen. This is a bar height uh, table. So you can see the bar height stools to the side with a booth that wraps around it. And then around this island, we have um, a lot of storage around the outside. So we have a nice big kitchen here that's looking out at our new um, sliding glass door windows that we have here. Let's jump really quick to into our uh, ceiling model so we can see um, we talked about last time we're going to maintain the existing slope of the roof. Um, but vault the ceiling, so there's going to be a new ceiling structure here in order to vault this ceiling. But here's how the room lays out. It starts to look with the new uh, ceiling shape. So the ceiling is going to slope down so right above the cabinets there, and then we've got that soffit that is existing that comes across the whole kitchen there. And we have a new uh, fireplace layout here as you come in the entry uh, into the living room. Uh, we've built out uh, this fireplace into the room with a new gas insert. And that gives us a little niche over here uh, where we can have um, some built-in cabinets with some um, display shelving there. So that's how the kitchen is uh, laying out. So we can drop back above here. I'm just going to fly around this one time so you can get oriented to the whole space, catch some of the garage as we go to. So we have the new pantry. Um, space that we were talking about at the meeting, either having open shelves here um, and not have this wall, or whether or not we want to move that door over to this location here, in which case we need to uh, move the um, furnace. So this was option one we were looking at with the cabinets, with the um, high cabinet that comes all the way onto the counter over here. And then we also talked about um, having just, this was the preferred option, just having a standard upper cabinet over here, which makes this a lot more open. From the side of the kitchen, you can uh, see more of the view and, and it's not quite so monolithic there. And this, this was not the preferred option, having that um, pantry uh, door, but we wanna have the cabinets come all the way across. So this was another option, but this was not the preferred option, or that's you know, more of a standalone cabinet there. Okay, let's go take a look at um, just kind of the plan view of this, where we have the, the pantry, and again, we need to decide if we want this wall or not, um, and what this door configuration is here so talking about having the door here into the entry and then we'd have no door here just cabinets all the way across and we do we do some storage on this back wall but it puts the pantry a long ways away from your garage pantry farther away from the kitchen so let's take a look at our the rest of our floor plan so we're going to go into the back part of the house down the hallway we have the office here and then we're going to come to the first bathroom here where we have um, this wet room area where you have a walk-in shower with a bath in the back of it. You can tile all the way around. And then we have a single sink vanity and then a toilet. We'll do a, a mirror. We could do a medicine cabinet here on this wall. Uh, we'll get some options for storage and, and mirrors and lighting later. So our second bedroom, uh, third bedroom, fourth bedroom, and fifth bedroom with the master. I'm just going to fly around this plan once because I know you guys are going to be talking about um, the entry into the master bedroom, whether or not we want to do it here 
or add a door here and have it come go through the storage area into your bedroom kind of model you have right now. Let's look at this uh, bathroom at the end of the hall. This has just a walk-in shower with a single sink and a toilet. And at the end of the hall, we have this uh, doorway that goes out to the patio that has a lot of glass in it to let natural light come into the end of this hallway and have this be um, a lot of natural light down at the end of this hallway as you're looking down it. Let's go look at your master bath, master bedroom and master bath. So this was the more open option that um, I had modeled, but we're going to go ahead and put the door back where it was before and put this door back where it was before over here as well. Single doors that let natural light into the uh, bedroom and then you'll have these vanities will be uh, paired up again. Uh, and then we're going to do um, a more solid wall here with, so about half of it will be glass, half will be solid. Um, and then you'll look down into that um, shower wet area with, with a larger window at the end um, to let natural light come into this room. And we can look at whether or not we can do a, a sauna shower uh, type thing, um, if that's something that uh, is done and works. And then the water closet moving down here, I think, I think helps that a lot. And here is the master bedroom, how it's laying out. So you can flip the bed onto this wall when we shrink that door. That was the idea behind that. And then we also talked about doing uh, some built-in um, cabinets for drawers and uh, display shelving, maybe here and here with the fireplace and TV location um, as the layout for the master bedroom. And also uh, we need to decide whether or not we want doors going into this passageway or into this closet or whether that's more open. And that depends on whether or not we have the door at the end. So either entry to your bedroom slash closet there or here. That's what we need to decide on for this layout. Just spin around your master bedroom here once. I'll get you a video with the model revisions too when we have it. And now let's go to the front of the house really quick. And look at what the house is looking like with our new window location. So this is an existing window. We have a new bathroom window, new bedroom window, and a new bedroom window. And this back bedroom has the corner two windows. So a lot of natural light. This would be a great uh, workout room or office also because all that natural light. Um, the back patio, uh, an existing window, and that new door into the new addition. So you can see this is where your existing house ends and the new addition starts here. And the backyard is getting a lot more private with the addition coming out here at the end. So you have a very private uh, paved patio area. And we want to discuss with the contractor whether or not it makes sense to do this as the uh, slab for a future house now, or if, if that's going to be a good money saver or if there's a better strategy. And this, this side of the house, you can see all the new glass that we're getting here. Keeping the roof in its existing configuration here at the end. And back to the front. Just gonna fly around the whole floor plan here one time so we can just get a feel for these different areas. So you guys talk about it more. We talked about refinishing the inside of the garage, so it's really nice. Um, drywalling it and maybe epoxying the floor and painting the ceiling to make that really nice space. Back bedrooms.
All right, hope that helps with your um, discussions on these different decisions we need to make, and I'll um, get you guys some drawings uh, so you can talk it over around the dining room table too. All right, hope that helps. Thanks.